<laughs> first of all, what's it like to live in Buffalo? I only, despite being from upstate New York, I've only visited once, which was last year. But like, what's there to do around campus? What are the what are the favorite activities? Oh yes, um, especially summertime. That we're in summer, we have a lot of things to do here. We have art festivals. The biggest one that we have is called Wing Fest. So. That is when students are essentially in the area and it's everything but wings. Um, so Buffalo, they do take pride on um, wings here. They are pretty much the essential people that claim the chicken wings. And then of course we have the Buffalo Bills. So that is a football team here that we do um, take pride in very much. But there are a lot of things to do in the area, restaurants, um, art galleries and parks that are in walking distance. So you will find that here um, at Buffalo State in Buffalo, for that matter, um, there are many things to do within the area and in walking distance. What's the best place for wings? Ooh, that's a good one. So it's between Duff's and Anchor Bar. So those are the two heavy hitters. Isn't there um, one up that's really good too with a longer name? Which one? There's got to be one other one also. I've heard three that get mentioned. Oh, yeah. There, there's so many here, but those are the two top contenders oh, okay. as two. of right now. Um, is where the first place that made a buffalo wing? Oh, uh, I think it, that one's Anchor Bar. Anchor that's Bar is the first yeah, that's, one. That's what I've heard. Yes. I've so heard I'm like, that are even better. <laughs> yes. Um, so I myself, thank goodness I'm not a Buffalonian because people would come after me. But I would say Duff's is a good place for chicken wings. So make sure that you go visit. I swear, I, I didn't know the chicken wings could taste this good. Like I just had, I had no idea before I visited Buffalo. Yes. That's, does Buffalo have an honors college? So we do have an honors program here. Yes. So great question. So with honors, um, it's not a separate application for students. We review you once you apply. We do look at a certain GPA, which would be around a 93 GPA or higher. Now, with that being said, there is additional scholarship opportunity. We do have the um, Presidential Provost and Honor Scholarship. The Honor Scholarship is about $2,500 a year. It is renewable for each year after that. You have to maintain your GPA. And with that being said, um, we do offer it to high school seniors. It's very competitive, of course, but we make sure to um, get a touch point with ev every student that applies. And what kind of perks do students get who, who are in the honors program? Yep, so the perks that they get, so they have their own cohort here. They're taking specific honors courses. They're going on different tours here um, with the classes that they take. Another perk is that they have a particular um, residence hall called Bishop Hall. So that's where the majority of our honor students live. And another perk, of course, would be first dibs on registering for classes. So that's a good one too. Is it, is it pretty tough to get the classes you want if you're not in the honors program or maybe if you're not a senior or something? Um, a little bit, a little bit. If um, you know, you're know you not on it, when your registration opens for your particular group, you may be out of luck, um, but your academic advisor will be able to assist you the best that they can to make sure that you're taking your classes in sequence for your next semester. Got it. So just as soon as it's open, you gotta just be ready. That's Absolutely, fair. yes. <laughs> Speaking about residence halls, what are the dorms like? I mean, you mentioned the honored residence, but what are the other mm -hmm. dorms like? Yes, wonderful. So we do have 11 residence halls located here on campus. So um, we have our corridor style, suite style, and then also apartment style housing. Um, the corridor style is mainly geared towards our first year students. It's the typical two to a room. You would be sharing a room with another individual free Wi-Fi, um, free laundry, no quarters needed. So only thing you need to provide is laundry detergent. Yep, and fabric softener. So, um, you know, getting a tour, we do have a 360 view of these rooms. So make sure that you're visiting our website. Um, and this will give you some insight of what to expect in a college room. So, you know, it's not going to be the Hilton Hotel or something in New York City, but a good place where you can make it your own and decorate. And what about the food on campus? What's that like? Oh, yes. Yeah. So this was one of my favorite things here at Buffalo State as a student. I had to keep on it because I was an athlete here and also in high school. So 
Um, we have the student union, which is the nucleus here on campus. And that's where you'll find yourself in all the food. So we have the Bengal kitchen, which is more of a free for all buffet style. You can eat anything that your heart desires. And then we have something called retail dining, which is also located in our student union. So this is more of the chain locations that you may have seen such as Subway. Um, we also have a sushi to go spot. Um, and then Anchor Bar, we have a location of Anchor Bar located in our student union as well. Not bad. I didn't know there was another Anchor Bar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, there is. Yep. So we're excited to have them on our campus. <laughs> yes. Is there like uh, some kind of dining dollar kind of situation that you can use at th those kind of places, the student union and so on? Yes. So you'll have your um, student ID card, which will also be considered Mecca to you. Uh, please don't lose that. But that will have your meal plan on there. And also your Bengal bucks is what we call it. So you would be so swiping there for dining services, and then also for any other store here on campus, and even Starbucks. Who doesn't like Starbucks? We have two locations in our bookstore and our library. And do you sign up for like, there's, I assume there's different meal like packages that include a certain amount of Bengal bucks also, or? Oh yes, yeah. So, how does it work? Yes, it'll show you what the, um, one that students gravitate towards. So there's different tiers. You can change it mid-year if you feel like you want more food in your package or more money in your package. Um, but you would complete that with your housing application. So the housing application and the meal plan go hand in hand and it will show you um, what meal plans that we offer here. Uh, someone asked, is it mandatory to live all four years on campus? Ooh, good question. Um, so for students who live outside of the 35 mile radius, it is a requirement to live on campus for your first two years. Now, after that, you can live off campus if you choose. There's a lot of housing here in the area and we um, do have a couple of liaisons um, here as well called Campus Walk and Monarch. So those are two um, places that we work closely with, with our students who live there, but um, we do recommend, of course, to live on campus. It's very convenient. If you do have an eight o'clock class, you know, you don't want to commute and trek from those areas and then come to class. You don't want to be late, but um, you are able to live off campus. But the first two years, it is required to live on campus. Is that a common thing, the 8 a.m. class? That sounds miserable. Yes. <laughs> yes, for sure. I think I avoided 8 a.m. And no, I had some 8.30s though. <laughs> Ooh, I had some 8 a.m.s. It was very tough for me. So I never did it again. I had an 8 a.m. shuttle three days a week my first my first year of college to get catch a shuttle for a 9 a.m. class at a different school. That was bizarre. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> tell me about your experience. What were some of your favorite like uh, experiences, extracurriculars, traditions on campus? Oh, good one. Um, and they are actually coming up soon. We're gearing up for this. So we have first year convocation. This is when all the first year students gather together. Um, they're introduced to our campus and we're so excited to have them. So that's one tradition. Also, um, another th one that we love is when we have our first football game. So that's something that gets the blood pumping. You know, we're playing against other private schools, other SUNY schools. And, um, you know, of course, we're hoping to win and we're yelling for our guys here. Um, other things that I love being a student here is all the friends and relationships that I have had. So it's been a long time since I've been here, but um, it makes 10 years this year that I've been at Buffalo State uh, when I was a student. So with that being said, having those relationships with friends and then also faculty members too, because they help in the future. Um, I got a lot of letters of recommendations in order to get into grad school. And then also a good word in when you are applying for your jobs as well. So those are some good things that always are staying in my brain to have some good memories about that. So I will um, always be proud of Buffalo State. Very cool. Talk to me since, since you keep mentioning sports. I've, you already talked a little bit about D3 and, and varsity athletics, but what kinds of options are there for students who are maybe not varsity recruits uh, to still be engaged on campus in, in athletics? Oh, yes. If you guys are not 
interested at all in sports. That's perfectly fine. So we have a sports arena and a sports center here um, that you can still stay fit and active. So you can get on the elliptical, the treadmill, there's weights in there for you. Um, a lot of students who are not on the basketball team, we have open gym for them. So there's always that opportunity to go to a pickup game. Um, there is racquetball, if I have any racquetball players in here. But my favorite in the winter time is when the ice rink is all set and done. I can go for free skate. And um, that's a popular one for us. And then open swim too. Very cool. And are there club and intramural teams also? Yes, there are some clubs and intramural teams. So uh, we have the rowing club. So because we're so close and near the water, um, those students are getting up extra early, probably around five o'clock, going out on the water and rowing their hearts out, let me tell you. So there's that. And then also rugby. So there's men's and women's rugby team. So if you understand rugby, it's like tag, football, soccer, you know, it's that mix of things. So there's um, a lot of options for you to still stay involved and active here. Switching course. What are the, are there study abroad programs? Is it a common thing or are people mostly staying on campus? Yes. Oh, thank you for asking that. So we do have a study away um, also known as study abroad program here. So um, with that being said, we have we offer over um, 50 programs in over 20 countries. So some students have gone to Siena, Italy, Australia, even England. Um, those are popular because they're English speaking countries, um, not Italy per se, but a lot of students, they do like going to Australia or England. Um, so other things that we have are the National Student Exchange. If you didn't wanna go across the pond, we do have something here um, in the United States soil. So we have partnerships with other schools in California, Florida, South Carolina. And with those partnering schools, you can be there for a semester, full academic school year. Or if you didn't wanna interrupt that, you can even do a summer session. So those are some other good opportunities to get that um, study away off your belt. Essentially, it's the same amount of tuition and student fees. The only thing you really would be paying for is your um, flight or however you're going to get there and some trinkets that you want to bring back to your family. And what about some of the most popular non-sports extracurricular activities? Like, are there some particularly famous clubs or experiences or volunteering communities or? Yes, um, good one. So Popular ones that we have here on campus as of right now for clubs is called Caribbean Student Organization. We do have a lot of students from Caribbean descent background um, and they love to represent where their country and their home country is from. So we have um, some events that they put on called Dollar Jam, where we always invite a reggae artist to come on our campus and perform for students. Um, another one that's very popular is called the Ink Club. So this is for students who like more of the spoken word, poetry slam, and we love to always hear what students come up with. They're very, very creative and you would have never thought. Um, so we're like, definitely put that pen to paper and you need to publish this. Um, so there's a lot of popular clubs here. If you didn't see a particular club that you liked, uh, you can always be the founder of a club too. So you would just let our USG, which is United Students Government, know, and they will, you know, look at your ideas and go from there. Very cool. Um, one piece of advice to students interested in attending or a future student at, at uh, Buffalo State. Yes. Um, so some advice for a student would be stay involved, right? Ask a lot of questions. Um, don't be like me, because when I was a student, I was very, very timid, very timid. Really? I came from a graduating class of 45 girls. So with that being said, do not be a nervous Nancy like myself. Make sure that you are asking questions, getting involved. And this is how you navigate through the college career as well, too. So once you have your hands in all these areas, um, you want to make sure that you are on a great um, path, but also find that balance of academics and the social aspect of things. Um, you may get lost in the sauce with the social aspect, but you always have to remember 
staying on top of those academics. So that's just a little bit of nuggets there for you as well. And final question, your very most meaningful, best experience or thing about SUNY Buffalo. Uh, sorry, about yeah, Buffalo State. Oh, goodness. That's, um, that's a tough one there. So best experience, you say, is the question? Or, or best thing about it, either best one. Best thing. Okay, best thing is um, we are small, intimate, medium-sized school, and we are, we consider ourselves a family. So we are the Bengals, and Bengals hear us roar, but uh, we always come together when we need to. So those are my favorite things about Buffalo State. As you guys can see, I'm still here. I'm working here now and I'm proud of my alma mater, but we would love for you all to visit so you can feel that spirit as well. And we're excited to welcome all of our new students this coming fall.